Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I have with me the new Ford Focus Active X and in this video I will make the full review interior exterior. At the end of this video you will find out everything about this Focus Active X. Now I will explain you also a little bit what is the difference on the exterior between Active X and the normal Ford Focus. I will integrate it also in the video a little bit later but first of all before we go forward with the review exterior interior I want to give you some technical data and also I want to tell you that I'm right here in Switzerland. If you are in Switzerland, around Switzerland, check out Emil Frey in Zugville, guys. I will leave the link in the description. Also, you can check out their website. And if you want to test drive the car, if you want to buy the car, if you want to see the car, check them out, guys. They have great, great service and they have also discounts and as you can see also on this model we have some discounts i will tell you in a second and this is really really good now as i said before i have with me the ford focus one liter uh, eco boost hybrid this is mild hybrid version 125 horsepower it's active x version it comes also with some extra optionals the basis price of the car is 34,000 francs but with those optionals from here that cost 2,950 francs it will go up to 36,950 francs but here at Emil Frey in Zugville you already have a discount 2,956 francs and the final price will be 33,994 francs in my opinion the price is quite good uh, taking into consideration that the car comes with so many options and I will show you, I will present you in the video as we go forward. Now you can see here it comes with pack entry parking plus 300 francs, driving assistance system 800 francs. I will explain you that in the test drive video. I will have a separate video with the same car test drive there I explain you everything about the car, the driving feeling and, and much more. We have the winter package. I will show you also as we go forward the Bang & Olufsen sound system 500 and then we have uh, 18 inch wheels 400 francs. I will show you when we go outside and then we have this uni color that 350 extra. If you want to read the other options that come standard guys you can pause the video and you can read it out uh, very simple. Now let me go a little bit deeper to technical data and let me tell you that the weight of the car 1532 kilograms 6.6 liter estimated consumption 149 co2 gram emission and it's in c class efficient class that's very important to keep in mind guys now let me go forward with a deeper technical data and as i said the car come with a one liter eco boost petrol engine three cylinders in line it's a front wheel drive system and also it's a mild hybrid system that means it has a small battery, a small electric motor that are uh, at least the electric motor is mounted in the front and it will help the petrol engine to give you the best mix consumption, mix performance and they will work together in a mix mode. So you cannot choose only electric mode or only petrol mode. So they will always work together and you will give, try the best to give you the consumption and the economy that you need. Going forward, the power of the car, 125 horsepower, 170 Newton meters. Also 0 to 110.2 seconds. The maximum speed, 195 km per hour. And all this power is connected with a seven speed automatic transmission power shift. The trunk space, 392 liters. And if you fold down the seats completely, it will go to 1,354 liters. But keep in mind, if you have Bang & Olufsen sound system, it's probably the trunk to be a little bit smaller, but just want to give you some idea of what can you expect from the trunk space. Another important thing, the fuel tank capacity, 52 liters. The turning radius of the car, 11 meters. The car come with independent McPherson suspension in the front and semi-independent on the rear ventilated brake disc on the front and normal brake disc on the rear and also 18 inch rims as i showed you before those are the most important technical data uh, if you still have questions ask me down below whatever you want to ask now guys let's start the review exterior interior i will try to show you everything about the car material quality and at the end of this video we will make the conclusion and we will see uh, how it's the car this is the key is the same key as ford used it on the normal version of 
uh, focus and what you can do with the key of course it's a light key by the way it's like my finger in terms of size it's, it's super small and I like to have it in the pocket you don't even feel it now if you see on the key here you have three buttons one is to unlock the car you can see the car come also with electric folding mirrors this is cool and also you have a button here to unlock the trunk the trunk doesn't come with an automatic lift gate you have a manual lift gate I will show you later but uh, you have the possibility to unlock it uh, from here so pretty simple this is the key also you have here you can see uh, a few parallel lines here on the handle from here you can lock the car and unlock the car if you have your hand here you can unlock it if you want to lock it you put your finger right here just like that super simple anyway this is what you can do with the key let's go forward now all right guys now i just turn on the car and what i notice the first first thing that you notice also i see it on other uh, ford models is that this one liter ecoboost uh, petrol engine it's incredible silent even though the engine it's on right now you you barely hear it i mean it's super super silent and this is a good thing now i turn on also the lights so you can make an idea the way they look and also i want to talk a little bit about the exterior design and in comparison with other car i want to put a video right now over this one and i want to show you the difference between these uh, new focus active and normal focus also this is the new focus the fact that this has those protection here around the wheels this plastic protection that come out and the normal focus doesn't have it also you have this protection on the down part here it's kind of an off-roader I should call it uh, because it protected the paint of the car and also you can go on rough roads so if you want to have a focus and in the same time to be protected and to go on rough roads with stones and stuff like that if you live most of the time in countryside but you still want to have uh, a focus and you can get this active version so you can see all over the down part you have this plastic protection in the back you have plastic protection uh, also on the rear here some matte uh, plastic where on the normal focus you have some glossy uh, plastic here here you have also glossy plastic and also this down skirt uh, so you can see this difference here also the ground clearance it's around three centimeters higher on the active version so overall this is the biggest difference between them two and also yeah the fact that it's a little bit higher up you have a kind of a crossover feeling when you are inside the car all right guys now that you see the difference let's go forward uh, in terms of design here on the side you can see that the ground clearance as i said before it's a little bit higher so that's a good thing when you go on muddy road with stones and not so good roads it's a great great option because you have those plastic around there to protect you around the wheels and on the down part on the skirt there they are super super useful it's also a little bit high up uh, I mean you have a higher driving position than the normal focus and for some people this is quite quite interesting also it looks a little bit bigger I'm not sure if it's a, a bigger in terms of size but it looks a little bit bigger and a little bit more powerful kind of a little bit of crossover I should say anyway other than that kind of the same shape the same uh, design the same lights uh, the same roof spoiler here if you look from the side you can see a little bit better the way it looks it's a nice design it's a simple design it's a practical design I should call it more like a practical design so yeah overall this is the stereo design in terms of uh, light uh, they are very very much the same as on the normal focus depend which version you get it you can get also the other options with uh, the matrix LED lights or you can get these LED lights of course they are full LED lights but they look different and uh, you can see the turning signals it's, it's LED light the daylights it's LED light uh, they look nice and also they are uh, very useful uh, in the nighttime much more useful than was before uh, the bulb lights for example the halogen lights and also they look nice with the car pretty good design you have some roof rails in uh, black plastic you have the radio antenna in black plastic that looks nice it's small it's nice there it's integrated nice i like very much this roof spoiler in the back here the way they design it with the lines here look quite sporty and aggressive here is the light the brake light led light also you can see down here uh, the black around here look quite nice tinted windows on the back on the side as well we have a wiper in the back ford 
focus writing on the back, reverse camera, LED lights on the number plate. This is also great. Uh, here you can see the lights are the same, same lights as you find it on the normal focus. Even the fog lamps are full LED lights, the tail lights, it's LED. Uh, but the turning signal, it's a normal halogen light. I don't know why, it's a little bit sad, but I wish they somehow change it in the future. It's too bad about this car because it's the engine is so good and so economic, so silent. And I think the lights should be quite improved on the on the new uh, Ford cars. Also here in the back you have EcoBoost Hybrid, so you know this is the mild hybrid system. Uh, also on the bumper here you have six parking sensors on the rear, some light reflectors. Uh, down here on the bumper you have some grey on the down part. All this plastic mat here protect the car. Those exhaust pipes, two exhaust pipes look beautiful, super sporty. They are real and you can hear how silent they are. They are they're running so silent, so smooth. I like them very much, to be honest. It looks good. I love the fact that they add this protection, as I tell you before, all this plastic protection on the down part are super useful. Usually here, a lot of stunts occur. You will be protected, the paint will be protected in time, and this is a good thing. This is something really cool. Also, this extends all the way in the front part. Here we have also some element, kind of a air intake here and if you look closely here the air will go inside there and will go outside here on the side so those are quite real guys so uh, it will come in also some air here six parking sensors on the front as well also on the down part the same plastic mat uh, gray you find it in the back there here you have the radar for adaptive cruise control emergency brake and all that safety features inside there you have the possibility to see now they are closed they have some clappers pedals plastic pedals they are closed right now because it's cold outside they will say close when the engine is very hot they will open up to leave the air go inside there the same story here on the grill on the upper side you can see the pedals are closed in this moment other than that ford logo simple grill with a little bit of uh, black glossy plastic there so yeah, this is a simple model, nothing crazy, nothing complicated. Simple and practical, this is the word for it. Also the front end of the car, simple. We have a camera, the car comes with a camera and some sensors for light and raining. The camera can read the traffic speed limit, lane assist, all that safety features you will find it there. Now here on the windows, tinted windows, I like very much that they extend this window here, the same as on the normal model as I tell you in that review. The great thing is that you have gorgeous visibility from the interior. So you can see when you open the door, you open it with that windows and you have a huge entrance and also very good visibility. In terms of sound door, the sound, it's great. I mean, they sound really good. Good, many not perfect, but I should say in the middle range. But the premium thing, the great thing on this car, I told you it's practicality uh, when I think about this car, is the fact that when you open the door, look at this. Boom, this plastic will protect you when you hit other uh, cars, you know? Or when you hit a wall, when, when your kids open the door, or when your passenger will open the door, uh, it will open up this plastic so you will don't have to worry, that will dent your car and it will come inside automatic, boom. And in the front, the same story, on all doors, you have this system. Great job, Ford, I like that very much. The other thing that I want to show you, the tank is here on the left side, easy fuel tank. That means you don't have to open the cap, put it down, all you have to do is just the, the pump, take the pump, put it in, press the button, push the button and then you're good to go. Those are the mirrors, also quite big. You have here in the corner, I think you can see the blind spot technology and then we have LED lights, turning signals here, simple mirror, active writing on the both sides. So you know this is the active version, kind of a hijack version. So on this model we have 18 inch rims. You can see right there the tires. Ventilated brake is on the front and the rims look relatively simple, um, nice. We have a lot of rubber here, that means you have good comfort over the bumps. We will see that in the test drive video, so check out the test drive video. Other than that, on the back side, we have normal brake discs. So what do you think, guys? I'm waiting your opinion about the car. It's a nice car, it's a practical car. Very useful for the people that live in the countryside because you have all that protection there. Or very useful for the people that 
uh, drive most of the time on on uh, on bad roads with a lot of stones you know uh, that will be super helpful for the paint of the car you know that that will be awesome uh, I don't know if you live in a in a zone where where are made a lot of construction that will be really useful this is a manual lift gate it's a little bit heavier uh, but it's manual keep in mind that this is the engine guys one liter eco boost petrol engine three cylinders in line here's the air filter the battery the fuse box on the left side also we have the liquid for the wipers there and yeah it's quite silent now open the trunk very simple manual lift gate in the front here you can see also the opening up uh, handles you have two handles so you can close it manually you have this protection for the trunk here i will take it out to show you how it looks the trunk it seems to be quite large it looks really really spacious and if you look closely here it's also very deep so you don't have a flat floor here it's quite like 25 centimeters deepness here and this is super practical sometimes some storage space here on the left side hooks in every corner uh, you can see right here uh, then we have a normal halogen light some hooks here hooks here as well also on the under floor here you have some uh, storage space where you can put a repair kit and also you have this bang and all of sense sound system so if you will get the car without this system you will get a little bit more space here in the trunk without the sound system so if you don't need great sound in the car you can take it out uh, as an option anyway let me take out this protection and then i will show you how it looks without it now i just take out that protection you can make an idea one more time about the entrance here huge entrance in the trunk i tell you it's a, it's a big trunk very spacious i think even if you have two kids a family with two child uh, you can fit in here a lot of things without any problem now the only thing that I notice is the fact that you cannot fold the middle part like for example carrying long items or skis you have to fold it 60 40 that means you have to press this button push it forward just like that and then here the same story press this button push it forward now you can see the way it looks with the seat folding down uh, it's not a flat floor there completely flat floor you have kind of a 10 centimeters there maybe a little bit more uh, of a step so yeah i think you can make an idea here in this area but overall it looks super spacious it looks like you have a bigger than normal car kind of a crossover anyway plenty of space really really plenty of space in my opinion it's crazy spacious and if you go here on the side open the door uh, you can see that the, the way it's opening the door and also you can see that the the entrance here it's pretty huge let me put the seat belt on the side it's pretty big entrance here and once you come inside you can see one more time also from this angle the way it looks the trunk and yeah overall overall it's pretty spacious pretty pretty spacious down here on the legs room a lot of legs room i like the fact that the transmission tunnel is small and i noticed that the, the space between the seats and, and the headrest here it's relatively big so you can put a lot of things down here so overall very spacious very practical let me put everything back now guys i love the fact that it has extended windows here in the back one it's fixed and one can be fold down and this is super useful you will see why when i go inside here on the doors here we have plastic on the upper side so you have a speaker here handle in this area also plastic although you have this design you don't even know what it is until you touch it this area it's stuff material i like that this is really important here handle we have stuff material inside the door bands that mean when you have inside here you will not hear a sound or something like that here we have a speaker big speaker and here we have the button uh, for the windows and also we have a little bit of chrome on the buttons now the entrance relatively big you can see also how much space it is from this angle you can see the seats and i will go also inside and i will show you how much space we have here in the back stove material 
you can see the blue stitches, stove material in the middle. You have also a special design here on this active version, also here with blue stitches, side support. But all those seats in the back are made by stove material. And this is, this is really, really practical. Isofix for two child seats. You can install here two child seats. I like the fact that the seat in the middle, it's flat. That means they focus also on third passengers there. Uh, and also this is quite flat here. Then if you go down here, the transmission tunnel, it's small. This is really good for the third person in the middle. Also we have a 12 volt port down here. And other than that, no vents or something in the back. Here we have the armrest, two cup holders, stove material. Yeah, it's quite nice. Behind the front seat, we have this stove material, but behind the stove material, you have kind of a plastic to protect the seat. Quite interesting the way they design it. And down there, you can add some storage. Oh, let me go inside. Now going inside, very easy. I go inside, close the door. I notice that the sound insulation is good inside the car. No problem. The headspace, I'm 173 centimeters. This is the space four fingers and half. On the legs room, I have plenty of space. Wow, I feel like I'm in an estate car, like I'm in a station wagon. You can see this is my driving position seat. And this is, I don't know, I think the same. I didn't touch it, but it looks the same. And I can stretch my legs under the front seat. I feel like I'm in an estate car, to be honest. It feels quite spacious. Uh, comfortable also, quite comfortable. Visibility, it's perfect. I tell you, when they extend the window like that, you have amazing visibility outside, so the passenger will be happy here in the back. Handles up here, very useful. Hooks, useful. Great that we have white uh, roof. This is super nice because it's brighter inside here. Also, you have LED lights, two LED lights up here. Quite nice and simple. Let's go in the middle because you have this kind of small transmission tunnel. Uh, you can have your legs together. This is cool. And look at the space. Oh my God. I have so much space. This is a little bit softer. It's also comfortable. On my back, it's also quite comfortable. Four fingers, stretch my hand completely. Stretch my hand, oh my God, it's super spacious. Wow, it's so much space here inside. I tell you, practicality is the word. I like it. It's not bad, really not bad. I can have three person here for long trips without any problem. Now, we will go in the front to talk about the things in the front like the new multimedia system, the cockpit, the steering wheel, the things in the front there, they look the same. You have the same, same dashboard design as the normal Focus. Uh, and it's a super nice, super practical design. Nothing extraordinary, but very practical. Anyway, let's go in the front there. All right, now going in the front, here we have a big window from one piece. That means good visibility outside. The door is slightly different than in the back. Even though the design is very similar, uh, there are a few differences here. First of them is the fact that all over here you have leather. Everywhere on the upper side, here on this area, leather. Here we have this blue glowish plastic with a little bit of trim inside. The handle, it looks really good. Also here you have soft uh, leather and nice and also here the stove material so overall the quality is much better here in the front door handle buttons for the windows uh, then you have the button for the mirrors electric adjustable mirrors lock and unlock lock the windows as well here we have a story space quite spacious and also we have this stove material inside that it's very good speaker the pedals are normal, no aluminum pedals or stuff like that, just normal pedals. Here you open the front entrance in the car. You can see from here, you can make an idea the way it looks. You can see the A on the seats, that mean uh, that comes from active. And they are stuff material, like on the back, you can see it also from this area, from this angle. We have this A from active. Uh, other than that, side support, side support, I like that. They are bright, they are comfortable. Manual adjustable seats, of course. And here we have the controllers for the light. From here you can turn on, turn off the light, put it on auto. Also you have the position of the light. And then here you have the fog lamps. And here you have the brightness of the screen. From up here, you have soft material, like a rubber. You can see it's rubber everywhere here. You have also the vents, feel quite good as you touch it. Left, right as well, good, good quality. Uh, when you touch those vents, rubber everywhere on the dashboard, good quality on the dashboard there. So 
overall this is it let me go inside going inside the car visibility around the windows as i said it's very good it's made from one piece good visibility in the mirrors good visibility on the windshield great visibility i should say also on this mirror up here you have a good visibility because in the back you have that big window so don't have to worry about visibility also going forward great visibility around the windows and also uh, i like the fact that you almost don't have any blind spot in the back there even though if you have a reverse camera you have a good visibility in the back you can see one more time the seats in the back here in the middle leather armrest adjustable down here you have some storage space you can take this out as well and you have even more storage space to put some things there yeah, it's very useful good going forward down here we have the possibility to adjust those like a cup holders or maybe you can use them the way you want it you can make more space you can even close this just like that here you have a space for your key electronic handbrake auto hold uh, other than that here it's plastic in this area here it's leather by the way keep in mind that here in this area it's leather all this part this is the stalk for changing the gear by the way let me start the engine here's the start engine button press it once and now the engine is on and it's so silent this is one of my favorite part on this car um, on this engine actually because not only on this car they use it ford use it also on other models it's crazy crazy silent now guys if you go in reverse you have to press a button here you can see that you have a reverse camera reverse camera is very good also you have those lines there and you have the possibility to see it even wider if you want to just like that so very useful then you have drive normal drive mode and you have an l here the l is for low gear that will go in low gear it will help you to have uh, higher revs sometimes when you need them so this is also a great cool uh, tool now going down there very useful here we have a wireless charging for your phone usb-c usb 2 12 volt port super super useful then you have the start engine button this is the parking assist so it will help you to park uh, this system is great start stop engine button then is the maximum climatic system physical button and then from here you press this button let me go from here you press this button and then you have like five different driving modes so let me show you first of all is normal mode eco mode so it give you the best economy sport mode yes and then you have slippery mode that you have it also normal uh, focus but the big difference here is the trail mode we have trail mode on this active that means if you go on mad and sand and dirty on paved roads this will be an awesome awesome function to use it and this car is made for those kind of things so this is a great great added uh, feature here on the car other than that very simple everything it's simple easy to use uh, it's nothing crazy and fancy futuristic here but everything is practical and simple to use also those vents are simple good quality some kind of rubber here they look nice they look nice simple and nice um, from up here we have everything is soft and nice here it's soft material soft here we have this nice design trim plastic around the dash there on the upper side it's rubber and nice quality you have the bang and all sense speaker in the front speakers on the both sides there also you can see the vents on the right down here plenty of storage space a lot of space here to put different things quite quite spacious now here the steering wheel you can adjust it forward backward down and up just like that simple steering wheel manual adjustable the steering wheel it's very good quality also although it's quite simple nothing crazy nothing futuristic also here but very very good grip a lot of uh, good quality on the grip here and i like that some uh, chrome glossy plastic here behind we have the lane assist you have a button here to turn it on and off uh, we have here the controllers for the cruise control physical button very easy to use all those buttons uh, i will show you also in the test drive video we will test it out and here we have another button to control the, the screen and here to control the voice command and the telephone now going to the screen we have this new digital display from ford it's not that customizable that you can find it in volkswagen or mercedes but you can change a few views there to see the consumption 
to see information about the, the hybrid gauge, what happened with the hybrid, the tire pressure and the fuel economy, the trip one. Anyway, it's, it's quite simple. Every time you change the driving mode, by the way, it will change also the color and somehow the design of the screen. If you go in sport mode, uh, you will see that it will change in gray with red. Slippery mode, it will change again to blue. And then if you go to trail mode, it will go to kind of a green color. And echo mode, it was for the first time uh, and it's somehow also a blue. Oh, kind of a blue color so yeah overall good good visibility from the driver point of view also the new multimedia system is great you have such a big screen here it's like a tv i should say like a laptop it's really really big and you can you can access it very easy from the driver point of view and i noticed that it's incredible responsive so i have a separate video with this multimedia system if you want to see it check it out on the channel there i go more in detail but trust me it's crazy crazy responsive on the down part here you have all the climatic system functions uh, the only physical button is here that you can get to maximum but other than that the heating seats you have it here you have free position heating seats uh, the temperature you can also from here change it the seat in steering wheel you have here the button let me zoom in a little bit yeah just like that um, this is the vents also the vent speed fan speed you can change it from here turn it off then you have the auto mode you can put it also on auto mode if you press this it will go to auto mode or you have this button that will extend the climatic functions and you can see all the functions you choose where the air to go uh, you choose the maximum dual uh, AC, recirculate the air or close it just like that, simple. Then you have another button here, front. You probably wonder what is this? You know, what is this guys? This button here, it's for the heating windshield. So this car come with this windshield heated. If you go zoom, you can see those lines on the window. That Those little lines, parallel lines, mean that this window in the winter time, you press a button in one minute, is defrosted great job Ford going forward rear defrosted AC again all the climatic system are here now this is the home screen where you have the navigation system the phone the media settings features and mobile app go here to the navigation first of all I want to show you it's it's kind of all over the screen and also you can see here that it's very responsive I mean the chip and processor behind it it's crazy crazy uh, good much better than what was before uh, once a day uh, on Ford cars and yeah I like that very much and let, me, let me show you how easy it is to go to a destination you just press it please it drive to highlighted route super fast it's just like that and then now it's working you have a 3d map you can also choose the point here you have some settings you can go in every detail you can cancel the route guidance exit trip uh, add different change the route turn list here you have also some um, some settings so it's it's crazy crazy good and look at this you have it all over the screen it's it's incredible uh, practical it's such a big screen there anyway let me go back to home here you have the phone search you for can, your vehicle on your device and select it you can hear actually add your phone and uh, I have a separate video with how can you connect Android Auto and phone with this multimedia so check out it's already on the channel Go to settings here. Here we have all the settings of the car. So we start with the radio settings, add phone. Here you add your phone, Search it's very radio. simple. Then you have the navigation settings, the sound settings, bang and off sense settings. So from here you can change all that sound setting. Uh, going forward connectivity, vehicle hotspot. You can give also internet from vehicle, mobile app, system update. You have the Ford Assistant valet mode, even the valet mode you have it on the car. The display settings here, brightness, uh, you can choose. Set General settings here are the language, temperature, measure unit, tire pressure. Uh, you have also software license and all that settings. Then you have the clock and vehicle. When you go to vehicle here, you have a lot of settings like uh, the key settings, like chain, like windows, like wipers, light, lock, mirrors passengers all those kind of settings you will find it here I don't want to go too much into detail because I have a separate video with it where you can see it now the last one is the mobile app and the features mobile app 
I will show you also how simple it is to connect Search Android or uh, Apple CarPlay. I have already a video, so you can check out also on my channel. Um, there you find more details. Here is the most important things where you find the drive modes. Uh, and then you find also the driver assistance systems where you can activate, deactivate different driving assistance system functions like traction control, cruise control, adaptive, normal, intelligent, for example. Uh, I will leave it on adaptive. Then you can see the speed limit here. You go the lane keeping assist, alert or lane keeping intensity. You can choose here however you want. Pre-collision assist, traffic sight recognition rear view camera blind spot wrong way alert traffic alert driver alert so here is the owner manual you don't have that owner manual on the paper anymore now these days we have the manual on the screen so we save the planet the trees and we make some economy now this is it up here the mirror you already see it nice mirror simple big mirror good visibility in the back there up here sos button and two uh, led lights quite useful and here we have also a mirror with two normal bolt lights and the handle and a lot of space over my head by the way let me stop the engine uh, pretty much space over my head I have huge huge space I have a great comfort on those seats uh, I feel like like I'm in a big SUV to be honest here and I like that very very much anyway guys that was the video with this new Ford Focus Active X 2022 I will have a separate video with the test drive if you want to see the test drive video check it out on the channel probably it's already on the channel if it's not already click the subscribe button to see the notification when that video will come out also my rating for this Focus Active X from 1 to 10 will be 9.8 I think they can improve a little bit of things uh, for example LED lights outside in the back uh, but other than that it's a super practical car the price is relatively good for what they offer and the practicality it's incredible I mean in the back so much space trunk comfort is good and the technology is also great guys that was the video if you want to see the car test drive the car uh, check out Emil Frey in Sugville guys I will leave the link in the description if you want to buy the car see the car test drive the car check them out also they have great discount also if you want to see more new videos with cars click the subscribe button uh, I will really appreciate if you like share and subscribe to the channel thank you very much to all of you that watching my video stay safe and I wait you soon in the next one Bye guys.